This is a Piccadilly line service to Heathrow Terminals 1, 2, 3 and 5. Everybody, as you may have realized thus far into the vlog, Dad and I are in Mexico. This might come as a bit of a surprise to you because I haven't mentioned that I was coming, but in all honesty, it was a bit of a surprise to me too because it was only booked last week. Now, if you have watched my channel for a while, you may know that we have family living here in Mexico in a place called San Miguel de Allende. Uh, this is my fifth time here. I came a couple of years ago. I'll put a link to the playlist down there if you want to go back and watch those vlogs. Dad comes every year to see them uh, and we come on holiday here and it is my number one favourite place on the whole planet. Like more than I can put into words. If I could move here, I would. And I, in actual fact, for the last three hours, I've been trying to think of a way not to go home. Anyway, um, this time is slightly different because we are not exactly here for a holiday. Um, very sadly, a couple of weeks ago, Dad's cousin Joanna passed away. Um, so actually we're here for, you know, a family funeral and to be here to support Dad's auntie Siobhan, whose house we're staying at, and um, Joanna's sister Catherine, and both, well, the whole family. But I don't want you to think these are gonna be sad vlogs because she wouldn't have wanted that and we are here to celebrate her life and the actual funeral isn't until the 12th so we've got a lot of days um, until that so welcome to San Miguel de Allende my favorite place in the world this is Puquita say hello say hola and dad's here Ahoy. in the sun already oh I see that forehead. I hope you've got some sun cream on there. So fun fact for you all, um, the newest Disney film Coco was actually based in San Miguel. Um, so if you've seen that, you'll know what to expect from these vlogs. Good morning, it is Saturday today. I didn't vlog very much yesterday because we ended up kind of having a big family catch up and going out for lunch, which wasn't great. But then we went for dinner, which was great. I did film a little bit at dinner, so I'll pop that here for you to see in case you're interested. <laughs> is enormous. And so the plan for today is that, well, it's been raining all night and all morning, but the sun has just come out. I think it's like 11 o'clock now. We are gonna go for a drive down into town, probably get some more food because we never stop eating. <laughs> We are back at the house now and dad is sunbathing on the roof. I am feeling quite peckish, so I didn't finish my dinner last night in the restaurant. I brought it home. 
I'm going to try and find a way to heat it up. And have it for lunch before we go to Catherine's for dinner later. Oh, this doesn't look quite as nice as it did last night, I'll be honest. <laughs> it was chicken enchiladas with refried beans, but um, I mean, I'm sure it'll still taste delicious. Let's give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I just remembered, it's Cinco de Mayo today, which is like a Mexican festival. I hadn't even seen anyone celebrating it here, but I just saw it on my friend Lottie's Instagram story that she was like celebrating it at home with a Mexican dinner, and I'm in bloody Mexico and I didn't even realise that that's what today was. Cinco de Mayo, happy Cinco de Mayo, 5th of May. I don't know what the celebration is, I think it's just a public holiday. <laughs> Do I look tanned or do I just look sweaty? Can't work out. <laughs> we have just come down to town to a place called Casa de la Noche, which translates to House of the Night, which essentially used to be a brothel. That is where we are holding the memorial for Joanna next weekend. And so we have come for a meeting with the caterers to just kind of let them know what we want to happen. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's on a beautiful street right in the centre of town. So let's find everybody. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well that's all sorted. We've picked the food and the drinks. We're gonna have lots of tequila and coronas. It's gonna be good. I think that's a good venue. I think it'll be good. We're now heading back to um, Catherine and Mark's. Catherine has made us a dinner, uh, which last time was incredible, so I'm very excited about that. You know, I actually didn't used to like Mexican food. It was my least favorite cuisine, but um, I'm a convert and now, now I love it. <laughs> I am driving us to dinner tonight. Um, the first time actually, well, no, when I came two years ago, I drove a big Jeep, left-hand drive, automatic, four by four, and I was like, this is literally the opposite to my car at home. I love it, I love driving an automatic. Climb aboard, passengers. <laughs> okay, you're in. Thank you. Do you trust me? Good. <laughs> yes. I trust you. <laughs> good. I've told Siobhan you're a good driver. Oh, good. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Dokey, we are home now from dinner, which was so lovely. Catherine is a very good cook, um, but we are back now and Dad and I are so tired. We were both up quite early this morning. I think both of us were kind of like up by 6.30, which is unheard of. Um, so I guess that's the jet lag and time difference or whatever. But um, yeah, we are heading straight off to bed. Tomorrow will be a whole new adventure and I'm looking forward to it. So thank you for watching this vlog and I shall see you in the next one.